हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिंपलीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स बाय प्रोफेसर ऋतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग एसक्यूएल एग्रीगेट फंक्शंस सो लेट अस बिगिन नाउ व्हाट आर दीस एग्रीगेट फंक्शंस दीस फंक्शंस आर बेसिकली बिल्ट इन फंक्शंस यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशंस ऑन द डेटा द एग्रीगेट फंक्शंस इन एसक्यूएल आर काउंट सम एवरेज फंक्शन मैक्सिमम फंक्शन एंड मिनिमम फंक्शन these functions returns a single value they operate on many records at one time the aggregate functions ignore null values except for the count star query now in our day to day life if we consider this example these are nothing but a set of values if we operate these aggregate functions how it will produce the output let us see one by one now these values are in total nine values so the count function will return 9 which means that there are total 9 values in the set then comes the max value or maximum function so out of these values 9 is the maximum value so this maximum max function will return the maximum value in the set that is 9 min function that is the minimum function will return the minimum value in the set which is 0 then comes sum function sum function will add up all the values in the set and return the value so it is 44 the average function will return the average values of the set that means it will add the values in the set divide by the total number of count in the set that means 44 divided by 9 which gives up to 4.8 Now let us see how we how we apply these aggregate functions in SQL. So this count function will return the number of rows that matches the specified criteria. The syntax for it is select count the column name from table name where condition. Now let us look at the example. So let us consider this table named employee wherein there are five attributes: employee ID, name, age, address, and salary. Now. the first example that we will see is if we want to find the total number of employee records so if i write the query as select count star from employee which will return 7 uh, the output as 7 because the aggregate functions only a single value and how many total records in this employee table 7 so the output will be 7 count star star means all the records so how many records in all 7 so it, the output will be 7 then the second example if we want to count the employees age so uh, if you want to count the num uh, count uh, find out the count of employees age so it will return the number of non null values over the age column so here we will go into the age column so how many uh, va values are there we will just count 1 2 3 4 Null will not be considered. Then zero that means five and thirty-seven is six. So the output of this particular query will be six. Then the third example is that if I want to find out the count of distinct employee age, distinct means different or unique. So it returns number of distinct non-null values over age column. So here thirty-six are repeated. So here this thirty-six will be considered only once. So thirty-three, thirty-six. Twenty four zero and thirty seven. So these are the distinct counts or distinct age values that are there into the age column. Null will not be considered. So how many distinct values? Five. So the output of this will be five. Now let us go to the max function. This max function will return the maximum value of the selected column. So here the syntax is select max column name from table name where condition. So let us look at the first example. wherein it will return the maximum age of the employee so to write that query we will write it as select max age from employee so here again we will go to the age column which one is the maximum out of this 37 so output will be 37 remember it is returning only a single value then the second example is with the where clause so here find the maximum age of the employee whose address is mumbai so which all uh, employees address is mumbai so it is role uh, employee id 2 and employee id 
so we finalize this but we have to find out after this two which one is the maximum so second uh, second second employee id is having age is 36 and six employee id is having age is 0 so which one is the maximum obviously the second employee id because its age is 36 if we compare 36 and 0 the age 36 is the maximum so it is going to output it as 36 now let us go and study minimum function that is min function so min function minimum function will return the minimum value of the selected column syntax is select min column name from table name where condition so let us look at the first example if i want to find the minimum age of the employee the query written will be select min age from employee so again we will go to the age column and we will find out which one is the minimum so out of this we will not consider null which one is the minimum zero so the output of this will be zero the second example will be with the where condition so from so let us look at the second example it says that we want to find the minimum age of the employee whose address is pune so we have two fields or two records whose address is pune that is employee number one and employee number eight now we will because we want to find out the minimum age we have to consider its age also so the first first employee is having age is 33 whose address is pune and the eighth employee is having age 32 whose address is again pune so out of this 33 and 32 which one is the minimum obviously the um, uh, the employee who is having the age is 32 is the minimum so the returned uh, answer or the written record will be 32 the value will be 32 because out of 33 and 32 whose address is pune uh, the age minimum age is 32 so it is returning 32 then the sum function the sum function returns the total number of a selected numeric columns so here just pay attention to the word numeric because it will operate on only numeric columns so let us look at the syntax select sum column name from table name where condition now the first example is to find the sum of employee salary now we will have to sum all the values in the sum salary column so the query is select sum salary from employee it will return the value as 56800 which is nothing but the addition of all the fields or of all the values in the salary column now the next example is if i want to find the sum of the employee's age who lives in pune so here who, uh, there are two records or two employees who lives in pune that is record number one and employee num employee id number eight so one and eight lives in pune so if i want to add them up that is 33 plus 32 which gives us uh 65 here so correction needs to be made over yes so correction has been made and the sum of the employees who live in Pune that is 33 and 32 it becomes 65 so the sum uh, of the employees sum of the age of the employees who live in Pune or whose address is Pune is 33 and 32 that gives us answer as 65 then comes the average function so this average function will return the average value of the selected numeric columns obviously it will also work on the numeric columns now how do we do that so the syntax is select average column name from table name where condition so let us look at the first example find the average salary of the employee so how do we do that so just simply use this average keyword along with the table name uh, column name which is salary from employee now it will return me the average of the salaries so how it is done all the salaries will be added divided by uh, total number of records that is 8 and the second one example is find the average age of the employee those who live in Pune so again we have 33 and 32 so that will give us the value as 32.5 so here if you look for every function we are getting only single values so that's it about the aggregate functions I hope you have liked the video and understood it and thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments please do write into the comment box thank you everyone